You guys hear that sound? That is the sound of a gasoline motor. And uh, it's kind of coming to the point where motorcycles are starting to go electric now. So um, it is now June 2014 and Harley Davidson has announced and they're going to start going with it um, very soon. Their first electric motorcycle called Project Livewire. And I believe it starts tomorrow. Today is Sunday. Tomorrow on Monday, they start like a tour where consumers will actually go and, you know, the press as well will be able to go and check out their actual electric motorcycle and possibly take them for test drives as well. Um, that's crazy. And it's crazy to me that Harley Davidson is the first major manufacturer that is coming out with this. Um, of course, there have been other electric motorcycles. I'll mention them in a little bit, but a brand like Harley coming out with this is nuts, right? It stands for everything that is opposite uh, to their customers and to their brand. So I'll talk about a little bit more of what I actually know about Project Livewire. Uh, it basically, I mean, I'll post a picture of it uh, in this video. All right, so you guys saw the picture of Project Livewire. The bike in the front, it looks like a cruiser. And then in the back, in the back, it looks like a sports bike. It looks like a Street Fighter. Like the tail is a sport bike Street Fighter and it's cut like super duper short and we, making it look like it has like a stretch frame and maybe it does, I don't know. But that's really like opposite of what Harley Davidson's styling <laughs> has been all about. Um, another thing about it is that, well, it goes zero to 60 in like four seconds, which is pretty good for a Harley. Um, and it runs between the mileage of, I don't know, it says like you can go like 130 miles on the bike, which I thought was pretty decent um, for what it, the motor could actually do. Now there's another bike that I wanna mention um, also, which is the Mission Motors Mission R, and that's a sport bike. And that came out like a year ago and it's also an electric motor bike. And their main philosophy when they were building this guy, and this is a much smaller company than Harley Davidson, obviously. Their main thing when building this guy was that it was going to be something that, um, it was gonna be something that would not like compromise on it being a, an actual sport bike. Like it was gonna be a full on sport bike even though it was gonna be electric motor. So it was gonna have something in between the ranges of um, 160 horsepower, I think it has. And it does zero to 60 in like three seconds. And uh, it also has a range of like 140 or some odd miles that you can take it on. But the price of it was incredible. It was 30 grand. That was like crazy. I was like for a, uh, sport bike or any motorcycle really but especially for a sport bike I was like holy shit um, that is really really expensive but it looked pretty cool the only thing holding it down was its weight obviously the batteries in it itself are going to make the bike weigh a lot more so it came in around like I think like the mid 500 pound range which really isn't a light bike but it's it's not that much heavier I guess if you're looking at something that's going to produce 160 horsepower so basically a leader bike um, leader bikes still are lighter but I mean it was you know it was decent it was kind of what it was so it was interesting we're up on the Squidward it's a Ducati 1198 Sweet. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying? All right. Um. Yeah. 
So for these actual bikes, they don't have any running gears either. I mean, I, I don't know if the Harley one is going to. The Mission Motors one was basically, it had no clutch lever. It had like one gear, maybe two, but it was basically automatic transmission. You were just in the same gear the whole time. I don't know, again, I don't know how the Harley one's gonna be. And then for the engine sound, um, it's not gonna sound like this. It actually sounded like a, <laughs> like a futuristic car, like jet sound. So it was like, <laughs> that's my horrible sound effect for today. But that's what it sounded like. But it was kind of cool. It was like something that you would see from like a sci-fi movie. Like imagine a Tron bike, right? What they actually sounded like. That's what these guys actually sounded like. And they were actually audible. They weren't like quiet, like silent, like a Prius is. You can actually hear it um, coming down the road with that really, really cool sound. I thought it was kind of sick. Uh, but then again, you can't switch gears or anything. So. I don't know, that's kind of the way that things are going with bikes. And for a long time, I really, really hated um, hybrid cars and electric cars. And I still do kind of hate electric cars, but at least the hybrid ones are coming around. And I'll say this, by prefacing this is that they're getting in the right direction. They're not 100% there yet. Um, and what I mean by that is, there's a thing out there called the McLaren P1. I think I'll put up a picture of that too. Bink. All right. So if you guys don't know what the McLaren P1 is, it is an incredible, incredible hypercar with an electric motor and a gasoline motor. So here's what they did. The electric motor produces something like 200 horsepower. All right, for putzing around town or whatever. The gasoline motor produces an excess of like 600 to 700 horsepower. It's freaking insane. Um, and then what you do is you push this little button, you go bink, and it turns both motors on at the same time. So you're in full hybrid mode now. <laughs> hybrid mode. So you have a 900 horsepower freaking hypercar that looks awesome that performs better than any other gasoline car almost that's like out there it's freaking incredible of course it's nothing that you and i could ever imagine on affording but hopefully this is the way that things are going and they'll take a tip from this the other manufacturers i mean like ford and you know chevrolet Honda, all those guys, um, well, maybe not Honda because they don't really give a shit. They're going to make slow cars forever. <laughs> but some of the other dudes may make faster cars. So, I mean, if it moves into the performance market and people actually start taking this technology seriously and they actually start doing something with it, wow, I can't wait for, for that. That would be freaking awesome. That would be something really, really incredible to actually see. I mean, Porsche's doing it, Lamborghini's doing it, but again, those are really expensive brands. Um, they're following in the footsteps of the uh, P1, or they were actually in the same type of development because the cars are releasing very, fairly uh, close within the same time range. But if normal guys can kind of get on that same bag bandwagon and make performance cars that let you do that, that are hybrid cars that still put out, you know, 400, 500 horsepower for the street. I am 100% behind that. So if they get this right, Harley Davidson, don't fuck it up. If you get this right, we could be seeing some really, really cool bikes down the line. So that's it, guys. <laughs> Check out uh, some of those electric bikes. I mean, they're really cool. I'll post some of them in the description that I have uh, below down here um, about where you can kind of see videos and get information about them. But I mean, this is a really weird time. A lot of people are kind of like, you know, against it, but I'm kind of excited about it just to see what actually happens with these guys. I think they're gonna be pretty cool as long as they're not gonna be raking you over the coals in, in price.